If you have a solar panel and you want to connect MC4 connectors and you don't know how or you've been looking on the internet and you are confused, let me try to help you. I'm not a professional but I did the solar on my van and I redid the entire solar on this Lance camper. The reason I had to redo the MC4 connectors on this on this camper because of this. The previous installer, this is how he connected the wire coming from the solar panel and the wire coming from connecting to the solar panel uh, wire to the to the camper inside the camper. I had never done these before, so I looked at a couple of videos. And it looked easy enough from what I saw and I went to do it and sure enough I had to redo it quite a few times some videos that you watch they may tell you oh this always goes on the negative and this uh, most likely always goes on a positive or vice versa they may tell you that this always goes on a negative and this one always goes on a, on a positive let me tell you that it doesn't mean squat. Let's say this is the um, this is the cable coming out of the solar panel, right? This end is connected to the solar panel, and this end you want to put an MC4 connector. So if you use this connector on the other cable, and let's say this is the positive, okay? So on the other cable, which is the positive, you'll have to put one of these. If you put one of these on the other cable you'll have to put one of these so it doesn't matter which one you put here as long as on the other cable that matches this one you put the opposite connector okay so having said that here's something else that nobody told me or i didn't hear anybody talk about so these mc4 connectors also come with these metal pieces. I didn't know that there was a difference. You can see that there are two different ones. So I connected this to the wire. You're gonna need one of these, a ratchet crimper. It's about 20 bucks on Amazon, um, maybe less. So it's well worth it. This one here will connect to this one. We know that. If we put this longer and wider connector inside here, okay, and this one, the thinner, the one with the tapers to a smaller, uh, a narrower tip. If we put this one in here, okay, here's what happens. So this one is inside here, right? And then this goes in here, and look what happens. It doesn't fit. That one goes in here, and this thinner one goes in this one. And how this works, these two will be inside these other two uh, plastic uh, connectors and then they will go like this okay and they will make contact like that and nobody told me that so i had to figure that out on my own and i had to learn the hard way and here's another thing that i did that nobody explained to me i saw some guys say well you cut the cable uh you cut the cable so much Okay, so, so what I did was, I went like this. Well, if I cut the cable so much, you know, I'm sure it's probably good if I fill this whole thing with the cable. So I came here, I did that, I checked the length of this, I got my tool, and I stripped the wire. Okay, and I put it all the way in like that see if it fits this time there we go okay I put it all the way in and then I crimple this using my ratchet tool and um, I was all done I had now another thing is when you're doing this don't forget to put this in first before you put this in very important always put this in, in first so I crample this and then I got everything ready I got everything you know um, nice and tight and ready to go <laughs> and then 
I got to put this together. I got to put this together and they wouldn't fit. And I'm like, how come it doesn't fit? And I, then I realized that here's the problem. When I looked at this closely, there's a little, a few indentations right around, right around there. Okay. And that's as far as this connector will go into right there. So if I mark over here with my finger, that's about as far as it goes. So what do you have to do? And it's very simple. You just measure the wire. Okay. To go as far, to go as far as that. Okay. Then you put that in. Put that in and now it's nice. Now you get your crimper tool. Make sure it's nice and centered and you ratchet all the way. Make sure you hold it in place and you go all the way down. Until it snaps back. And now you have a nice tight connection right there. That's going nowhere. The next thing you do, you pick one of these, either one, it doesn't matter. When I saw some videos, one thing that people said in, in some, a couple of the videos was that, let me take this out. Actually, I can just use this one here. One thing that they said, don't forget, put this in here first. One thing that they said was that when you push this in, you're going to hear a click and, and then this is locked in. It won't come out. So when I did it on this one, I believe I heard the click and I think I'm going to hear it again. There we go. And now it's tight in there and they won't come out. And, and here's a mistake. <laughs> and here's the mistake I just did. Okay. So don't do this mistake. Always. Now I'm busy. I'm, I'm trying to explain what I'm doing and I completely forgot that this needs to go in here. Okay, that needs to go in there to make a tight connection. Now it's not, not there anymore. And um, now I can't make a tight connection. So if I was doing this in real life, now I would have to cut this and redo it again. Okay, so I'm not going to do that. So for the sake of uh, demonstration purposes, just pretend that this is in here. And then when you tighten this up, when you tighten this up, it squeezes this in, okay? It squeezes that plastic and rubber, and, and it makes a seal over here, and so a nice tight connection. What I did was I just used a couple, uh, couple pliers. I put this one over here like that, okay? And then I used this one. Actually, I used a different one, but you can do it with this one too. And then I just went like this. Okay, and, and that was sufficient to get this done. This is a continuation of the positive, and now you want to have, on this cable, you want to have the opposite connector. So when you put it together, this will click together. Okay, strip this one. That looks perfect. So I got my crimping tool, hold it in so it doesn't come out, and Crample all the way down until it until you're done. And what I like to do, I just like to go one more on this one here. Like that. Just go one more. There you go. Now I have a nice tight connection. It won't come out of there. They tell you that you gotta hear a click, right? And since the one with the thicker wire was the, the first one that I did. I'm, the, I'm in there pushing and pushing and pushing and I don't hear any clicks and I don't hear nothing. I said to myself, probably either this one, this thing is defective, it's not clicking or something, but the connection feels pretty tight. So I went ahead and, and I tightened this up and, and I, I was going to leave it like that. And then when I went and I did the other wire, uh, the wire that um, was going inside the camper, which is this one, it was a little thinner. This thing clicked right away, just like this one we just did. And I'm like, wow, it clicked on this one. And I couldn't figure out right away why it did that. And then I realized that 
this wire was thinner than the other one and that's why it went in here's what i did okay i went ahead and i stripped this cable a little bit i went back a little bit and i stripped Be careful not to go too deep because you don't want to expose the cables okay but you want to strip this back a little bit so let me strip this back and let me show you uh, what happens here So when you do this, you want to make it as neat as you can. Right now, for the sake of time, I'm not being that neat. But you want to make it neat, and you do not want to strip all the way to the to the bare metal. But here's something else that I did. Just to be safe, I got myself a heat shrink wrap, and I placed it inside here. Okay, like that. And um, actually, you want to do it before you put this in makes it easier so I put this in first then I put this in here and now let's see if this will fit so you want to make sure that you have this in here and you have that in there and you push it in and you see if it clicks and there we go oh then click Now it did. Okay, now it's in there. Again, do the same thing with the wrenches. Or if you have the tool, use the tool and tighten this up nicely. And then you can bring, if you want to cover that, that little bit of cable that you stripped out, you can bring this in here, use a heat gun or a lighter and shrink this. So now you have a nice connection. You have a nice neat connection right there. And, um, and that's it. You are good to connect to this one. There we go. Here, click. Now you have your positive connected coming out of the solar panel, okay, going into the cable that goes into your camper, RV, or whatever you have. Or you can reverse it. So imagine that this cable is coming from the solar panel and that this one is the one going into your camper, RV, whatnot. So it doesn't matter which one you have here connected to the solar panel because on the opposite end, you have to reverse it. So if this is the solar panel, this has to be the, the one going in the camper. If this is the solar panel, this has to be the one going to the camper because that's the only way they connect. Now, here's the thing. Imagine that this is your positive from the solar panel and, and this is your negative coming from the solar panel. Now, on the next cable, okay, you have to make sure that you don't use the same one. Now you want to use one of these, okay? Because now your positive from the solar panel looks like this. Your negative looks like this. So on the opposite end, you're gonna have something that looks like this, okay? And these are the cables going inside your camper or RV or whatever. So once you have these connections done, okay, and this is your positive, this is your negative, and you have the same continuation on the other side, this one here is your positive, which can only connect to the positive, okay? That's why you wanna have two different ones like that because you don't want to make a mistake and connect your positive to your negative. So now your positive can only go into the positive. Okay. And now, and now your negative can only go into your negative. And that's it. That's how you connect uh, MC4 connectors. It's pretty easy once you get the hang of it. If I can do it, you can do it. And... Um, and yeah, don't make, don't make the mistakes that I did. But just in case, order a couple bags of these. Uh, you can't go wrong with having a few extra MC4 connectors. That's it. I cried out to you, O oh Lord. I said, you are my refuge, my portion in the land of the living. Psalm 142, 5.